Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rick from European Motors. I'm here again on Motor Authority. How can I not make the news of this week? Tesla Model 3 pre-orders reach 253,000 in less than three days. Actually, I believe the first night um, Tesla was able to reach 150,000 uh, reserved orders for the new Tesla 3. Of course, let me tell you, this car is the future. Um, Yes, it is produced in the United States, but to my opinion, this is a European car. Why? Well, um, Elon Musk himself is uh, born in South Africa. His parents are of European descent. And similar to mine, uh, my parents were not born in the U.S., but I have family of European descent. And European vehicles are very logical in the way that they work. They're very forward-thinking, they're very user-friendly, and they're not the most uh let's say cheap vehicles ever however i think tesla is doing something that's trying to appeal to the world trying to sell more cars and not really focus on profit and i think this is a great thing to do to propel us into the future um, tesla has things on their vehicles that no other car has like autopilot and uh, complete 100 percent electrical power without a gas engine and you still get gas performance you know like you would in a regular gas powered vehicle now of course the tesla model 3 will not come out until next year we are currently now let's see april 3rd 2016 so it's about a year and a half left till we start seeing these babies on the road very sleek design four-door vehicle the glass here goes all the way from the front so the windshield goes all the way to the back it's one panel of glass um, very very awesomely designed uh, people were asked to leave a thousand dollar deposit in the United States other countries have different reserve amounts um, which would propel him to around two hundred million dollars um, basically with the 200,000 orders in excess of that, of course, because again, in other countries, it's more than a thousand. So an extreme amount of money just for reserves. Um, and interesting thing is the vehicle is $35,000 before the tax incentives in the U S I think it's about 10 grand in tax incentives. So you can actually buy this car for 25 grand. Think about what you can buy for 25 grand, like a Volkswagen Passat, a Buick Regal, you know, an American car. Um, nothing like the Tesla in itself. 100% um, electric. You got superchargeability where you can charge in any supercharging station. 0 to 60 in less than 6 seconds. Not super power performance, but look, this is basic. This, this is just normal uh, with no options added. Um, 215 mile range yes people say well, what af what about after those 215 what do you do well kind of similar in a gas engine think about it if you have 215 let's say miles on a tank of gas what happens after the 215 well you run out of gas and you have to go get it um, same with this after 215 you run out of electric charge so you have to power it so you have to plan for that plus um, Tesla cars have something where they show you where the nearest charging station is and when you're down to that it calculates how long it will take and basically tells you to go there and you will make it without running out. Um, most Tesla um, reviews are very high. Um, there's a 15 inch floating touch screen that controls most of the car. It's a really incredible car. Um, I have tested the Model S and I was really blown away by it. Um, I think it's an exceptional car, um, and I think this is the future, but I don't think this will replace gas entirely. Why? Because people still like gas-powered engines. There's just something about it. This car, although it's fast and it has all these things, it feels soulless. It feels like a really quick golf cart, in essence. Um, it does what it needs to do, gets you from A to B, but I don't think it replaces the joy and excitement of gas engines. So tell me your thoughts down below. What do you think will happen with the Tesla Model 3? I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I hope to see you guys very soon. Don't forget, drive safe.